Yulia Skripal, 33, was in a coma for 20 days. Skripal was speaking from a secret location in London as she is under the protection of the British state. She was discharged from Salisbury District Hospital about five weeks after the poisoning and has not been seen by the media until now. We are so lucky to have both survived this attempted assassination. Our recovery has been slow and extremely painful, she said in her written English statement. As I try to come to terms with the devastating changes thrust upon me both physically and emotionally, I take one day at a time and want to help care for my dad till his full recovery. In the longer term I hope to return home to my country. Skripal spoke in Russian and supplied a statement that she said she had written herself in both Russian and English. She signed both documents after making her statement. She declined to answer questions after speaking to camera. British Prime Minister Theresa May said the Skripals were poisoned with Novichok, a deadly group of nerve agents developed by the Soviet military in the 1970s and 1980s. May blames Russia for the poisoning. It was the first known use of a military-grade nerve agent on European soil since World War II. Allies in Europe and the United States sided with May's view and ordered the biggest expulsion of Russian diplomats since the height of the Cold War. Russia retaliated by expelling Western diplomats. Moscow has repeatedly denied any involvement and accused the British intelligence agencies of staging the attack to stoke anti-Russian hysteria. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said he thought Yulia Skripal was speaking under duress. We have not seen her or heard from her, he said when asked to comment on the story. No one speaks for me, Russia's ambassador in London, Alexander Yakovenko, has repeatedly demanded to see Yulia, who was a Russian citizen when she was poisoned. I'm grateful for the offers of assistance from the Russian embassy. But at the moment, I do not wish to avail myself of their services, Skripal, who wore a light blue summer dress and bore a scar on her throat, said. Also, I want to reiterate what I said in my earlier statement, that no one speaks for me, or for my father but ourselves. Mystery surrounds the attack. The motive is unclear, as is the logic of using such an exotic nerve agent which has overt links to Russia's Soviet past. I don't want to describe the details but the clinical treatment was invasive, painful, and depressing, she said in Russian. Yulia's father was discharged from hospital on May 18. At one point doctors feared both patients could have suffered brain damage. He is no longer in a critical condition, Salisbury Hospital said. Nerve agent attack her Facebook page says she started studying at Moscow School No. 63 in 1991 before gaining admission to Moscow State Humanities University in 2001, a year after Putin was first elected as Russian president. In December 2004, her father was arrested by Federal Security Service agents on suspicion of treason, passing secrets to Britain's MI6 intelligence agency. Yulia arrived in Britain from Russia at London's Heathrow Airport at about 14.40 GMT on March 3 on one of her regular visits to her father. The pair were found unconscious a day later. I am grateful to all of the wonderful, kind staff at Salisbury Hospital, a place I have become all too familiar with. I also think fondly of those who helped us on the street on the day of the attack.